Hey Kevin here with another Flip and Dork Flips and Finds video where I show you different items to pick up really cheap thrifting and garage selling and I sell either locally on like Facebook Marketplace or Craigslist or I sell them at a uh, to a worldwide audience on eBay. And uh, anyway, first off I apologize for terrible lighting. Uh, this room is great for good natural lighting but right now it is absolutely pouring outside, it's thundering, it's lightning, so the lighting is terrible and my actual indoor lights are not any good anyway. Okay. So this week starts off with a local find and a local sale, and then I will show you an eBay item that sold as well. All right, so this week starts off with a local find. I picked this up at Salvation Army for $50. And this is a solid wood kind of farmhouse style table with four solid wood chairs. I don't think it was all a matching set originally, but I think it could look all right if it's redone. So I listed it locally and I mentioned that, you know, you could use it as is, it's, you know, it has some wear and things like that, but nothing's broken. And uh, it would look even better if you refinished it kind of farmhouse style with like a stained top and maybe painted legs and paint the chairs to match. It looked pretty good. Okay, so overall it's not too bad. It has wear on the top and some marks and things like that, but it could be totally stripped or sanded and refinished. And then the base is nice and sturdy. Just has some scratches and scrapes. You could easily smooth it out with a really, really quick scuff of sandpaper and then repaint it. And then the chairs are not too bad. I mean, a little bit of wear up top, but whatever. That's not a big deal. Worst part about these is they have a little bit of chew marks on there from a dog. Just two of the chairs. So two of them are good and two of them have little spots like that. So not near as bad as the last one I had. So I don't know. We'll just see. Hopefully that doesn't hurt the deal too much. So uh, anyway, like I said, I paid $50. I'm going to try to get close to double my money if possible. So I got it listed on Facebook. I need to put it on Craigslist as well, and we'll see what happens. All right, and here we go. I had the uh, table listed last night on Facebook and Craigslist. And like I said, I got it for $50. And it's a little rough on the edges, but it needs to be redone. Anyway, I posted it for $115 so that I had a little wiggle room. I figured it would probably end up going for about $90 to $100. And uh, anyway, I had a couple people ask me about it. The first person offered 100 I said I could do that, but they couldn't get it till later this week. And then someone else said they could get it today and they want to come by. So they're actually on their way now. And they did not mention anything about the price. So I think they're going to pay the full 115 So if they come by, I'll be able to do a little more than double my money and make a $65 profit on it. So hopefully they show up pretty soon and like it and buy it. So that'd be a really nice sale. All right, so right now it is just pouring outside. It started about 10 minutes ago. And about 20 minutes ago, that lady showed up to pick up the table and chairs. All right, so I actually had two people this morning at about the same time contact me about that, wanting to know if it's still available. I replied to both of them and just said, yes, it's still available. That's it. I, I keep it real simple because a lot of times people accidentally hit the button on Facebook. They don't really mean it or sometimes they do mean it. So I never, you know, try to go over like, yeah, it's still available. If you'd like to come by, I'm available at 2.30 and... And I would even do a better deal. You know, you're never doing that kind of stuff. You just tell them it's available. So I did that. They both replied, but the other person replied first and said, uh, would you take $100 on it? I could come later this week. So I said, yeah, that's probably fine. You know, um, there is another person asking about it, so we'll see. So then the other person then replied back and they said, hey, I'd love to come get it. Uh, I have access to a truck this weekend but I might be able to ask someone at work to use their SUV and come get it this afternoon. So I said, hey, that would be perfect. If you could get this afternoon, that'd be great. So we set up a time and then they come by, like I said, about 20 minutes ago, it was not raining and uh, come by with their SUV, it fit. But the very first thing she did when she uh, pulled up, she got out, she walked straight to the tables and chairs and then went right down to the bottom of the chairs where they were chewed up. She wanted to look that over. So I knew she was probably going to go a little less than asking price. So she looked them over, I was asking 115, and she said, could you do a little better deal on it? And uh, I never like to give out the first price, so I said, yeah, I could probably do that, how much are you thinking? That keeps it, you know, it puts the ball back on their side of the field. So then she said, well, how about 100? Well, that other person had already offered me 100, so I knew I could get at least that, so I wanted to get a little more. So I was like, well, there, whoa, huge lightning. And uh, anyway, uh, man, you're gonna hear that in a second. Yeah, there we go. All right, so anyway, uh, I said, well, there's another person asking about, they want to come in a couple days. I said, well, how about 110? 
And uh, she was like, well, how about we meet in the middle at 105? So I accepted the offer. So it sold for 105. I bought it almost exactly 24 hours ago for $50. So that's a $55 profit. So that's not too bad. Real wood tables and chairs, at least four chairs, they do sell and they're good sellers. On the other hand, fake ones are ones that are really beat up or they only have two chairs or they're broken or there's three chairs, whatever, they are really hard to sell. I'm telling you, four chairs and a good table is a good seller, good solid seller. Okay, so as far as eBay sales, I just had one. I'm, I'm glad to get rid of it. I accepted the, uh, the, I don't know if it was the best offer or what. Kind of hard to see, but this is a bag of, I think there are 36 games in here for a VTech. Uh, there's some for VTech V Smile, VTech V Motion, and VTech Pocket, or whatever it's called. And uh, it's kind of an outdated gaming system for kids. There's also some booklets in there and a power cord. Um, I got these at, I think it was Goodwill for $9. It was kind of an experiment just to see if they would actually sell. So I figured that looking up comps that these might actually be worth about $50 or $60, but it didn't happen. I had them up for that for a long time, like $59.95, free shipping, something like that. And it didn't happen, so I dropped them down and had them at like $40 something. I finally had them down to... I think it was $39.95 or $34.95. And anyway, I uh, they sold for $34.95. So I, th I think I dropped them down there. So that was with free shipping, which is, they're kind of heavy. And it's probably going to be close to 10 bucks. So that on top of the nine, I mean, half my money's gone. So it's not going to be a real good flip. It was kind of an experiment. I will not be buying any more VTech V-Smile games anymore. I've sold the system before. It was still not that good of a sell. Uh, it was what uh, five bucks and it sold for like 30 or something like that so it's like okay but I don't know I don't think I'll mess with these anymore but it was kind of an experiment at least I'll make a little money off of it so I need to go ahead get it boxed up labeled and then sent out and shipped out today sometime when it's not just pouring down rain so anyway let me do that and then if any other sales happen I will pop them in this video okay so it's the next day and of course it's not raining now and i just reviewed the video from yesterday and man oh man that lighting was terrible hopefully you could see what i was talking about so anyway today i had several ebay sales there's also a possible local sale today that's kind of a whole ordeal i'll explain that in a minute first thing it sold is this vintage panasonic boom box this thing actually sounds really nice for small as it is it's just missing the cord to plug into the wall but it does run off of batteries and uh, I should double check that there's none in there. Yeah, I took them out. Okay. Anyway, it sounds really nice. And I uh, bought it for $3, I think, at Goodwill, if I remember right. And uh, when I looked it up to, before I bought it, did some comp research on it, there was one that had sold for almost $90. I think it was maybe $88 or something like that. It was way up there. So I thought, perfect. I turned $3 into like $80 something dollars, maybe. That'd be awesome. So I had it listed up there, it didn't happen, I dropped it down to like $79.95, didn't happen, dropped it down to like $64.95, nothing, put it down to $59.95, and then I just left it. And nothing happened for months and months, and then it finally sold. And by the way, that was with free shipping. So paid three, sold for $59.95 free shipping. So when it's all said and done, I don't know where it's going or what it's going to cost, so I'll have to look into it. But um, I got to do some serious work to get this prepped today. I got to bubble wrap it all up and then really carefully pack it up. You gotta make sure I have a box that fits. I should have done that beforehand, but it's one of those items I kind of forgot I had listed. So anyway, it did sell and I'll still make pretty good money off of it, especially for $3. Okay, next item that sold is another one of those singing catfish. Um, it's like a smaller version of Billy, uh, was it Big Mouth Billy Bass? It's made by the same company. This one kind of does like one-liners and I think it sings. Um, I bought two of these at around the same time. One was a dollar at a church rummage sale. The other one was a dollar at a garage sale. It was the same garage sale. I bought that jumbo big mouth Billy Bass for a dollar. And uh, this is the one that was not in as good of condition. It was missing a couple of its whiskers and um, something didn't move on it. I, I don't remember what it was, but it, it didn't work as good as the other one either. So it was not worth quite as much. I thought I could probably get maybe close to $20 out of it and it sold for $14.95 plus $7.68 shipping which is a total of $22.63 so that's still not too bad so those do sell and in all the videos where I've showed these big mouth billy bass type fish there's always people that comment and talk about the part that can get fixed and 
and what they're worth, all this kind of stuff. That, so there's definitely a following. I don't know why. I don't know why people are so into them, but they do sell. Um, so if you can get one that's in a box and all that, it's worth a lot more money than one like this. This one is like, it works probably 60% and it still went for $15. So, you know, think about that. Okay, uh, next thing it sold, this was not a very good purchase, not a very good uh, sale, but at least it's gone now. It's a vintage 1970s McDonald's Hamburglar. Uh, I think it was supposed to have a cape. I didn't know that when I bought it. It was just one of the very first things I bought at a garage sale last fall. I just saw it you know, for 50 cents and thought, hey, that thing's pretty cool. I should buy that, and maybe it's worth money. You know, Well, it wasn't worth that much. If it had the cape and it was in excellent condition, maybe even new in the bag, they are worth like, I don't remember, maybe 15, 20 bucks, something like that. But this one, I dropped the price all the way down to $4.95 plus shipping before anyone was interested in buying it. So it sold for $4.95 plus $6.70 shipping, which is a total of $11.65. Now I need to figure out why it went for $6.70 shipping. I'm thinking they might have paid for uh, priority shipping, so I'll have to look into that because it doesn't weigh more than a pound. Okay, next item that sold, uh, actually just a minute or two before I shot this video, is this right here. I got this at a garage sale for $1. It is an RCA Lyra. It is like an armband MP3 player. All right, so you can put like an SD card in there, um, hook up your headphones. I tested that out. It sounds good. I think it might play FM radio as well. And uh, anyway, I got it for a dollar. I realized that it's, it kind of goes for close to twenty dollars, somewhere around there, and, with free shipping. And uh, that was my quick research at the um, garage sale. When it comes time to actually list it, I, it seemed like it was really more about eighteen ninety five is where they went. So that's where I listed mine, eighteen ninety five for free shipping. You know, paying a dollar for it, and it helped me get a better deal on some uh, GameCube games. So I decided to buy it. And uh, it sold, so it went for $18.95 plus free shipping. I paid a dollar. Very lightweight, four ounces. It would probably be less than three dollars to ship, so that's pretty good. All right, and then the last item that sold here is actually a really nice sale for what it is. This is a camera. It comes with a camera that has a battery in it, a case, and a battery charger and a spare battery. And it is a Canon that still works. A Canon PowerShot SX230HS. Uh, if I remember right, it's I think from about 2012, so it's a few years old, or several years old, I guess I should say. And uh, I guess it's new enough that people are probably still buying them to replace one that maybe broke or whatever, but it's old enough that it's not worth like mega money. But uh, anyway, I got it for $3 at a garage sale. I actually found some other cool stuff there. And I had it listed for $54.95 for free shipping or best offer down to $50. And someone today gave me a best offer of $50. So I decided to take it. It was only listed for maybe two weeks. So it sold pretty quickly. And uh, that was the same garage sale where I bought a pretty good sized box full of vintage 80s Transformers. I didn't know it at the time. But I had a suspicion that it probably had decent value because I sold a bunch of Ninja Turtles a while back. Well... Uh, for $5, I bought the box of Transformers thinking, hey, this is probably worth like $50, maybe $75, who knows, maybe $100 if I'm lucky. Well, I started looking into it, researching, you know, different parts in there, and it's worth a lot more than that. There's just two of them in there, two tiny little Transformers. They could fit in the palm of my hand, and together as a set, they sell for $75. There's a uh, Optimus Prime in there. It's missing one part. It will probably go for around $75 or so. Um, there's just all kinds of stuff in there. So I think what's all said and done when they eventually all sell, I'll probably make two, three hundred dollars off of that, something like that. So that was a really nice find for five bucks. This camera for three was good too. And uh, anyway, so that was all of the eBay sales. And I mentioned that there's a possible local sale today. And that is, uh, if you remember a video or two back or so, there was um, six really grungy looking uh, bar stools that I bought. For 20 bucks, they were really nasty. The the they were all stained up, and they were like this ugly fake granite um, on the metal, uh, you know, the metal frame and all that was granite looking, and then the cushion was really grossly stained. Anyway, I ended up doing a full makeover on those. I turned it into a video that I'm going to put on my DOA Dork channel, and uh, I bought them for 20. Did a one day makeover on them, and then I listed them all six for 200 dollars. And I also had it divided up where if they bought four, they could get it for 150 If they bought three, they could get it for 
100 or 120, whatever it was, and then they could buy two for, I think, 75. So it worked out where if you bought more of them, you got a little better deal. And uh, anyway, I had a lady this past weekend. I had them listed for, I guess, about a week and a half now. And there's a lady, I think, this past weekend that said, hey, I'm interested in these. I, um, I don't live where you do, but my daughter does. I could send her some money, and I'd be interested in four of them for 150 bucks. Uh, uh, could I get them Wednesday? And I said, oh, you know, okay, because no one else was asking. I was like, yeah, I could do that because I did put in a listing. I'd sell several of them. I was immediately thinking, okay, how can I just sell two? It's going to... I might have to rethink my pricing a little bit. But anyway, uh, so, you know, we worked out the deal. She said, okay, uh, I'll send my daughter the money, and then I'll take your address, and they can come by Wednesday and get them. Well, that was over the weekend, and then, like, I think on Monday, another lady contacted me. Hey, are these still available? I'm interested in all six. I said, well, there's someone that's supposed to be coming by on Wednesday to get them to check out four of them, but I will let you know what they decide. She said, okay, I'm interested in all six. I'd like to buy all of them. I thought, well, you know, I just told you what the deal is, so I just kind of left it alone. Well, today, or, well, the next several days, she would contact me again, hey, are they still available, or are they coming Wednesday? And I said, you know, either it's, you know, they're supposed to be coming Wednesday, I will let you know what they decide. So then this morning, they both contact me again. The one lady that's going to have her daughter come Wednesday said, uh, hey, do you, uh, do you think they could come by Thursday night? I'm thinking, oh, you, you know, I have another person wanting them today, and you know, how am I going to work out this deal? So I said... Uh, there's another person that just contacted me again this morning and they want to come by all six today and I said so the the sooner the better you you know I didn't say you told me Wednesday so you need to come today but I was like you know the sooner the better it, it would really work out great if you could get them today because there's another person that wants to buy all six and you could tell that she didn't really like that she's like well four of them are sold and uh, let me get your address and your number and I'll contact them I, I think they're kind of busy today but I'll see if they don't have plans tonight I'm thinking like, you told me Wednesday, you know, but whatever. So anyway, I contacted the other person that wanted them today and I said the same thing. I said, hey, they're, they're coming today or possibly tomorrow. I'll let you know what they decide. And they immediately, immediately reply with, great, I want all six. I can come get them right now. So I, was, I just left that one alone because I would love to jump on that deal. But this other lady actually sent money, I guess through the mail or whatever, to her daughter to come buy them. And it's a whole ordeal. So I don't know if they're going to show up or not. But they, if they don't come today, I'm going to consider that flaking out. And they have tomorrow to get it. If they don't get it tomorrow and they, oh, we can't get it till this weekend, no deal. I'm going to sell it to the other lady. I just, I have to do that. I can't be doing any holding of items and things like that. That's if you've never done a lot of local sales, I don't recommend holding unless they pay up front. I've had someone do that before. They sent me money on uh, through PayPal, and it took like two or three weeks before they showed up, but they did show up. But uh, if someone, you know, on a let's say on a Saturday is, is like, hey, I'd love to have this table, but I don't get paid till Thursday. Can you hold it for me? Don't do it because between now and then, you're going to have all kinds of offers, and uh, just don't do it unless they pay up front. And so anyway, this lady's convinced, you know, oh, well, four of them are sold. That's kind of her comeback. And I, was, I didn't say it, but I was just thinking that is not how sales work. I've sold enough items to know that it is not sold until you show up, you pick them up, and you pay for them. Because I've had people show up before and then back out of the deal that I've held items before. Or that you hold it, and then when they show up, they're like, they're like uh, well, can I get a little better deal? And then, you know, so I don't like doing that. I don't like holding unless they pay up front. So I don't put no holds in my in my listings because that looks a little negative up front, but I don't like to do it on the back end. If they ask, I say no. So anyway, hopefully they show up. I know I'm kind of rambling about that, but that's just like one of those local uh, things you got to learn for, or one of those things you got to learn for local sales is, is uh, holding is almost always a bad deal unless they pay up front. So anyway, I need to get this thing packed up. It's going to take a bunch of bubble wrap and all kinds of stuff. And I have, what, two or three hours to get it sent out. So I got to get busy to get this stuff shipped out. And then hopefully those people show up and we'll see what happens. All right. Well, I was packing the stuff to send out today. I made one more sale. This is something I just listed last night. It is this... <clears throat> AT&T, excuse me, AT&T Microcell. This is the uh, D, what do they call it? I can't remember now, the DPH153 AT. They also make a DPH154 AT, I think. So I don't know if that means it's like for 3G or, yeah, it's for 3G. Maybe the other one's for 4G. 
Anyway, uh, I've sold several of these. The very first one I ever sold, I bought for $10 at a garage sale. It's complete in the box. It sold for $79.99. Uh, I sold others for like 40 some, like $35 to $50, something like that. This one I got, it was the most expensive one, or the second most expensive one I bought. Five bucks, did not have the power cord, so I was unable to test it, so I sold it for parts not working and just said it's untested. It's the exterior is in good condition, but I had no idea if it works or not. And uh, I decided to list it for $27.95 of free shipping. So it's a little low. It's not going to be the most amazing sale, but it sold quickly. And uh, anyway, it sold. So it went for $27.95 of free shipping. Uh, it's in this box. It weighs uh, 1.9 or 1 pound 9 ounces. So uh, it depends how far it goes. It might be about eight something to ship, something like that. So it's not going to be that great of a sale. I probably could have asked higher and just waited it out. If it had the cord and plugged in and, and turned on and lit up, I could have got a lot more money. I probably could have sold it for, you know, $45 or something like that. But anyway, at least it's gone. I'll get a little money out of it. And it's just another thing I got to ship out today. So anyway, today's turned out to be pretty good for eBay sales. All right, well, I got everything packed up. I had to build a custom box for that stereo and wrap it in bubble wrap and all that kind of stuff. And I was just about to take it all out and I sold another item. And this is kind of an unusual one. And uh, I picked this up at a garage sale, what was it, two weekends ago. Uh, I bought that box of um, Cabbage Patch dolls, or actually it's two boxes of Cabbage Patch dolls. There's some other stuff in there. I got it all for five bucks. Well, I found these in there. It's kind of hard to see. There's actually five of these in there. Four of them are brand new sealed. One of them's opened. It's called the Original Doll Baby Pre-Sewn Doll Baby Body. Basically, it's like a homemade Cabbage Patch doll body. Okay, so you can see it's just, uh, you stuff it and then you put like a Cabbage Patch doll type head on there. Uh, so I have no money in this because my $5 is going to go into those... Um, Cabbage Patch dolls, whenever they sell, they're all kind of dirty and stained, so they may not go for near as much as I thought they originally were, but it doesn't matter. They're still going to go for good money. So for these being free, I put them at $29.95 or best offer with free shipping. My best offer is down at $25. Someone just gave me a $25 offer. Uh, they don't live very far away at all, so it's going to be really cheap to ship. So I took it. So I made $25 off of that, and I'll pay shipping. It'll be less than 5 bucks plus fees and all that. I'll probably make like uh, $18, $19 profit, something like that, off of this. So that's pretty good. And I'm noticing a trend that I think is interesting. All right. So including the VTEP games, which I actually sold yesterday, there are eight things I sold since yesterday. Of those eight, six of them had free shipping. All right. And they've all sold. Uh, so I'm thinking there really is something to the idea that free shipping sells better on eBay. I mean, everyone doesn't want to pay shipping, right? It's, it, even if you pay the same price, it feels like you're getting a better deal. I've said it before, something sells for $20 and it costs $9.95 to ship. You could charge $20 plus $9.95 shipping or you could sell the $29.95 with free shipping and it just seems like a better deal. There's no shipping, you know, even though it's the same price. So it's just kind of a psychology trick or whatever. So anyway, uh, of all six, or like I said, of all eight of these, six of these had free shipping. So you really got to do your research when you figure that out because you got to price with the, uh, you got to price your item with the idea of the shipping being included. So you have to know that that $20 item would be about $9.95 to ship. And, you know, it kind of varies where you, where you ship it. Like if you send it one state away, it's going to be so much. If it goes all the way across the country, it's going to be way more. So you just kind of have to take that into account. I would probably, if I start doing more free shipping and more best offers, it seems like sales come in quicker. But on my bigger items that are going to be bigger, heavier, all that, I still might charge uh, shipping just because you could really get killed on a deal. Um, if you, you know, you don't really research it out too well. So that's something I've been kind of experimenting with, not like in heavy detail though, but just like seeing, you know, does the item sell faster free shipping or did this item sell faster with paid shipping and a whole bunch of free shipping. I've also heard that the uh, free shipping actually kind of bumps up your listings on eBay. They want to show it more because they're really trying to go after, you know, Amazon has the prime, which is, you know, free shipping, you know, you're technically paying for it. And uh, 
you know, I, I think they're really trying to go after these free shipping. They're also making you do returns and all kinds of stuff. So they're really changing it. So I think that this free shipping might be the way to go. She's got to be, uh, you know, you got to study your pricing and know to add, you know, whatever it's going to actually cost to ship on average into your price and work it out. So anyway, I need to print a label for that one as well and get it sent out. And I'll probably have to stop for today with all these sales. If anything else sells, I'll just have to send it out tomorrow. So anyway, I'll go take care of that right now. Okay, it's now Thursday and I actually went to a couple of garage sales this morning. I noticed they had their listings up on Facebook Marketplace last night. So I went to check them out. One of them was really good and one of them was interesting because I think it might pan out to be really good. I'm actually going to go back in a little bit. Okay, so first of all, I had a couple of sales on eBay last night. Let me show them to you. First one here is a PlayStation 3 game called Catherine. Kind of an anime puzzle game. I don't know. I tried it out. It wasn't for me. It was, I don't know. It didn't seem interesting at all to me. It's like, I don't know how to describe it. Uh, I can't remember the name of the game, but I remember when I was a kid. It's supposed to have been like early to mid 90s. There was that game for. Was it, Se it was Sega CD, I oh, can't remember what it was, but it was this game where you're like this knight saving a princess or, or something like that. And like, I think the game was most, you mostly just watched it and then you interacted with it sometimes. I think that's kind of how this is. You like figure out puzzles and then there's like this long, you know, story segment in between and things like that. I don't know, but anyway, it's called Catherine. Apparently you're this guy saving Catherine, but it's like in your dreams or something. I don't know. Strange game. Um, this is like the alternate cover. It's the less risque cover. Um, it just shows her face on the other ones you might see out there. It shows her whole body and she's like wearing lingerie or something like that. So I don't know. I guess it's like a game for adults or something, but I don't know. I got that garage sale. I had no idea what it was. I was just experimenting with games. I paid way too much. I paid four bucks for it. And uh, I just kind of, it, the, it was one of those deals where there's like the video games are sitting on a table at the garage sale. And then right next to it right there is where the people are sitting with their little box of money and their calculator. And so I couldn't sit there and look everything up. So um, anyway, I just assumed it's probably worth more than $4 to so just experiment, see how well it sells. So it was only worth about $15, but I didn't even quite get that. I put it at $14.95 free shipping or best offer. I got an offer for 10 that was auto declined. Then they come up to 12 that come through because that was my bottom. I decided to... Uh, um, declined that because there was a couple of watchers and then they gave me an offer of $13.50. I decided to go ahead and just take it, be done with it, make a few dollars and whatever. So I don't know, it was not that great of a find. The other game is actually worth more money and I thought this would be the one that was worth more. Okay, second sale was this Wrangler Pearl Snap. Kind of cool, blue plaid, good condition. The only problem is that the tags washed out so you couldn't see the size, but it fit me and uh, I just based it off of the sizes I wear when I listed it. it took a while to sell but um, it did sell. One cool thing about it is the pockets have these like double flaps here with the two pearl snaps. I thought that was kind of cool. I actually bought this at uh, Goodwill and when I got it, I was thinking, uh, you know what? I should just keep that, it's pretty cool. So I actually wore it a time or two and then I was like, eh, I don't know. I should just sell it, get my money back, maybe make a few dollars and that's basically what happened. So I headed up for I think $14.95 or best offer, same type of thing. Someone gave me an offer of $12 today, so I took it. That's with free shipping, so when it's all said and done, I'll make a few bucks. So both these sales together, I probably won't even make $10 profit after fees and all kinds of stuff, but whatever. It's done, and I have better things to uh, move on to. Okay, so I did go to some garage sales. The uh, very first one I went to, I went there specifically because their picture showed a table and chair set that looked interesting. If it was priced right, I'd probably get it, and I did, but I will show that to you in a minute. They also had some boots there, so I thought that's kind of interesting. So the first pair here is uh, women's Justin work boots. They were $5, pretty good condition, not a whole lot of wear, a couple of scuffs and scrapes, but I can take some uh, clear shoe polish and just polish them up, make them look better. And uh, they're not worth a whole lot of money, but it was kind of hard to pass at five bucks. I looked them up, they sell for about maybe $40 with free shipping or like 25 to 30 plus shipping. So I'll. I'll try to get them as clean as I can, lace them all the way up, get really good pictures, and see if I can ask, you know, that $30 plus shipping, maybe $32.95 plus shipping, something like that. And uh, I don't know, we'll see. Or I could just put them at 40, maybe like $44.95 free shipping, best offer, bring it down to like $39 or $40 bucks and get it that way as well. 
Because if you notice, everything up here, I mentioned that in the last video segment or whatever, almost everything is going for free shipping, so that seems to really boost sales. So, when it's all said and done after fees, I'll probably make like 20 bucks on them, so eh, it's pretty good. Okay, this should be a lot better. They had this pair of boots, that, uh, this pair of boots there as well. Pretty good condition. Oh, wow. I just now noticed that. That's cool. Okay, it says genuine ostrich. So I've had ostrich boots before, um, but they have the quill, you know, the little dots. But interesting, I did not see that. Okay, so I definitely can get good money out of these. So these are Dan Post boots, men's size 9D, I think. Um, number, style number 26636. Got them for 10 bucks. I looked them up. There was a, a pair pre-owned that sold for 109 with I think with free shipping within the last three months. I don't remember how long ago it was. And then there's some others that did not sell. So that, that tells me they're probably going to take a little bit to sell. And the other thing is that a lot of boots I buy, I always try to price them where like one that, you know, uh, the highest price I can get with a comparable condition. And uh, the pair that sold for 109 look just like these. You know, these have a little dirt. I'll clean that off. But um, what happens a lot of times, I never quite get that out of it. So basically, I want them to go quick. So I could put them at like 70, 75 bucks, but I think I'd be losing out on some money that way. So I probably will still try them at maybe 109, maybe just like 99 with free shipping and put a best offer down at like 75 bucks. And someone's going to give me an offer and I just move on and make pretty good money. So when it's all said and done, I think I should make at least. Uh, profit wise, you know, after shipping, after fees, all that should make at least like 45, maybe $50 profit or more. So that would be a pretty good flip. Okay. So then I went, whoops. Then I went to another sale. Uh, they had it listed last night. They mentioned furniture, but there's no furniture sitting out. They said they're going to bring it out later today. That's why I'm going to go back here in a little bit. Uh, so I looked around, it's kind of a weird sale. They were going to move. It was a family, a mom, a dad. They looked like they were probably upper 40s. They had a son that looked like he was about high school age and then another son that looked like he was probably mid-20s or so. And they were all home on a Thursday morning and it's a rough area of town so I don't know what their situation is but they were selling everything. So I don't know if they're getting kicked out and they lost their job or what but they or I don't know what the deal is. But anyway they're selling a lot of stuff. They didn't price anything. I don't like when it happens because I don't like giving out prices. But it might be worth it because they mentioned several dressers and things they had for sale. So I don't know. We'll see. Okay, so what I found is this. This looked awful familiar. I was like, man, that sure looks like that PSP, uh, you know, PlayStation Portable case I bought a while back. So I open it up, and sure enough, it's a PlayStation Portable case. There's no PSP system in here, though, but there are some games and movies and a couple of... Uh, the uh, booklets for the one for the PSP and then one for one of the NBA games. Okay, so anyway, uh, the actual case itself, I'm not sure if it has a lot of value or not. Maybe 10 bucks or a little more, I don't know, 15 with free shipping, something like that. But it has some games. I ended up giving them a $10 offer and they immediately accepted. So I probably could have got it cheaper. It's kind of a weird situation. They're all home. You could tell they didn't trust a lot of people, so they were following me around. The husband and the wife are both like right on me as I was looking at stuff. And then the two sons come out to the porch and they're staring at me. I'm the only one there, so it was a weird situation. And uh, anyway, they I didn't want to offend them and then like get really mad. I wanted to offer five bucks on it, but I offered ten and they took it immediately. Okay, so I had some games in there. There's uh, Star Wars Battlefront 2. Shrek, Smash and Crash, um, I'm not sure what this one's called, some type of, uh, it's like a dirt bike game or motocross or something like that. Here's an ATV game, those almost never do well, but that's okay. Field Commander, some type of army game, uh, NBA 07, and then I think these two are movies. This is Island, I don't know what that is, something Island, and this one is Lords of Dogtown, that skateboarding movie. So for 10 bucks, I mean, I could probably get my money back on the case itself if I try to sell it separately. But what I'm going to do is put these games with the PSP I bought before. Because that one is just the PSP uh, battery that's no good, the cable to plug it on the wall. It had one game and uh, two uh, Family Guy discs. So I will add these to it. So for 10 bucks, I think I can bump the value of that an additional like $25. So I should be able to get about 100 bucks for that. So. Anyway, now let me show you the uh, table and chair set I bought. All right, well, I got everything uh, print, the uh, labels printed to ship out, and then I sold something else again. So I'll go ahead and show it to you. So this is that 
Zelda game. So it's Zelda for GameCube. It's called The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker. And uh, I'm thinking this one was not totally complete, if I remember right. Yeah, it doesn't have the manual in it, so I went a little less than like the top end. Top end seemed to be about $30, maybe a little more. Maybe, maybe $32, $34, somewhere around there. But uh, anyway, I uh, asked $25.95 plus free shipping. And I got it at a garage sale last Friday, so not even a full week ago. And it was only $0.50. Cents. It just sold for $25.95, so that's a nice flip. And I know it's not my uh, $30 minimum. But I've noticed that most of the stuff I get does not necessarily make me my $30 minimum. But by hunting for items, trying to get a $30 minimum, they all, you know, do pretty well. So they're they're all doing about $20, $25 profit at least and above. So at least that's getting better. I'd still like it to raise up higher. So anyway, I need to uh, print a label for this real quick, and then I will show you the table I bought today. All right, so here is that table I picked up. It has three leaves, so apparently this thing gets huge. But uh, it's all right, it's not too bad. I only paid $35 for it. It's got four chairs. One of them is an armchair. The others are just kind of open, which is kind of strange, but I've actually seen some other table and chair sets like that before. Um, everything is real wood except the top. The top is just a laminate. But it's not too bad, a couple of scratches, a little bit of wear on the edges. So to get this to move quick, I probably won't ask too, too much. So I paid 35. I might be able to ask about 95 and basically take anything over about 75 bucks. So I'll probably make somewhere between 40 and $60 on it. Hopefully somewhere around 50. And I just noticed pulling everything out that the armchair has had a really bad repair done. So that's why I'm thinking it may not go for a whole, whole lot. Plus it's the laminate top. So I don't know, I just want it gone quick. And hey, if I make 40 bucks on it and I only have it for a few hours and that's fine. But hopefully, like I said, I can make at least 50 or 60. And then, uh, like I said, it has the three uh, leaves in there, which I'll probably put in for one of the pictures. And also, man, it just got super hot today. It was great the last couple days. It's probably almost 100 degrees again. So I need to get these pictures done and get this thing posted so I can move on to some other stuff. All right, so I got the table and chairs photographed and then listed on Facebook. So they're up. There's already someone asking about it. So then I went back to that kind of sketchy uh, garage sale or yard sale, I guess, and I ended up buying some furniture. They mentioned they had it earlier, but they didn't have it out yet. They said they would bring it out later today. So I went this afternoon and uh, turns out I got a pretty good deal on it, I think. So this one was sitting out. The dresser, the vanity was still inside their house. And I uh, went and checked it out, and the first thing that popped out was the really cool hardware. I think that is old Bakelite. I need to tighten it up, but that's like the, I think that's what it is. That had been the stuff before plastic, so this is pretty old. It just has a really cool design to it. It's a little rough on the edges. I'm not sure if this could be sanded and saved, but the body itself is pretty rough, so someone would have to smooth it out, and they're just going to end up painting it. So it would be a shame to lose all of that um, kind of burled wood grain, but I don't know. We'll just see. But it's not going to be me that does it. I'm just going to flip it real quick. Okay, so then they, uh, she said she had a matching vanity that did not have the mirror that used to go with it. It was still inside, so she brought it out. And this drawer face was actually off. It was broken off and just sitting in there. And uh, when I brought it home, I glued it back into place. But uh, it's a little rougher. It's got some cigarette burns and just wear and all that. So it's the same thing. It had to be sanded and painted. But maybe the drawer faces could be saved. So it could still be a pretty cool piece. I imagine it all white with wood drawer faces. Keep the old hardware. It'd look pretty cool. Okay, so anyway, I asked how much on that one. And she said 15 So immediately I knew this was going to be a good deal. So when she brought this one out and that piece was broken, I offered 25 for both and they took it. All right, so like I said, it was kind of a sketchy um, garage sale. They were just, it was kind of a odd, I don't know, just a really odd atmosphere. They were just sitting on the porch, 100 degree weather, just staring at you. And it's just, I don't know, it was just a strange, a strange yard sale. So anyway, I was about to leave and I'm a little ashamed to admit this, but they drew me into the backyard by myself to go check out something with one line. And that line was, do you like Pee Wee Herman? So I had to go check it out. I kind of thought it was going to be a bike, and it was. So it was an old Huffy Cruiser bike. It wasn't near as cool as Pee Wee's bike, but it was an older one. But eh, it was kind of rough around the edges. They said they were asking 40 online, but they'd probably do a better deal. 
and I don't know, it, the seat was all torn up, the tires were flat, I didn't, or the uh, tubes were flat, I don't know if the tires were any good, so I decided to pass, but I did buy these for 25 bucks, so I come home, I glued the one uh, drawer face on, and the vanity, and then I wiped them down with some furniture cleaner to make them look a little better, and now I need to take some pictures and then get them listed. So I bought them for 25. I'm gonna try to just turn and burn them real quick. So I think if I list them at 75, that will probably make them disappear pretty quick. I think I should hold firm on that price too. Just wait till I get it. But I think it will go pretty quickly. The other thing is that their yard sale was listed on Facebook and that's where I would put these. So I don't know if I wanna put it on there just yet and then they see it and realize that I'm asking like way more than I got it for so I don't know I might wait a day or two but uh, anyway hopefully I can double or uh, triple my money on it should be pretty cool all right so I got the table and chairs photographed and then listed on Facebook so they're up there's already someone asking about it so then I went back to that kind of sketchy uh, garage sale or yard sale I guess and I ended up buying some furniture they mentioned they had it earlier but they didn't have it out yet they said they would bring it out later today, so I went this afternoon, and it uh, turns out I got a pretty good deal on it, I think. So this one was sitting out, the dresser, the vanity was still inside their house, and I uh, went and checked it out, and the first thing that popped out was the really cool hardware. I think that is old Bakelite. I need to tighten it up, but that's like, this, I think that's what it is. That had been the stuff before plastic, so this is pretty old. It just has a really cool design to it. It's a little rough on the edges. I'm not sure if this could be sanded and saved, but the body itself is pretty rough, so someone would have to smooth it out, and they're just gonna end up painting it. So it'd be a shame to lose all of that um, kind of burled wood grain, but I don't know, we'll just see. But it's not gonna be me that does it, I'm just gonna flip it real quick. Okay, so then they, uh, she said she had a matching vanity that did not have the mirror that used to go with it. It was still inside, so she brought it out, and this drawer face was actually off. It was broken off and just sitting in there, and uh, when I, brought it home I glued it back into place but uh, it's a little rougher it's got some cigarette burns and just wear and all that so it's the same thing it had to be sanded and painted but maybe the drawer faces could be saved so it could still be a pretty cool piece I imagine it all white with wood drawer faces keep the old hardware it looked pretty cool okay so anyway I asked how much on that one and she said 15 so immediately I knew this was gonna be a good deal so when she brought this one out and that piece was broken I offered 25 for both and they took it all right, so like I said, it was kind of a sketchy um, garage sale. They were just, it was kind of a odd, I don't know, just a really odd atmosphere. They were just sitting on the porch, 100 degree weather, just staring at you. And it was just, I don't know, it was just a strange, a strange yard sale. So anyway, I was about to leave and I'm a little ashamed to admit this, but they drew me into the backyard by myself to go check out something with one line. And that line was, do you like Pee Wee Herman? So I had to go check it out. I kind of thought it was going to be a bike, and it was. So it was an old Huffy Cruiser bike. It wasn't near as cool as Pee Wee's bike, but it was an older one. But eh, it was kind of rough around the edges. They said they were asking 40 online, but they'd probably do a better deal. And I don't know. It, the seat was all torn up. The tires were flat. I didn't, or the uh, tubes were flat. I don't know if the tires were any good. So I decided to pass, but I did buy these for 25 bucks. So. I come home, I glued the one uh, drawer face on and the vanity, and then I wiped them down with some furniture cleaner to make them look a little better. And now I need to take some pictures and then get them listed. So I bought them for 25. I'm gonna try to just turn and burn them real quick. So I think if I list them at 75, that will probably make them disappear pretty quick. I think I should hold firm on that price too. Just wait till I get it but I think it will go pretty quickly. The other thing is that their yard sale was listed on Facebook and that's where I would put these. So I don't know if I wanna put it on there just yet. And then they see it and realize that I'm asking like way more than I got it for. So I don't know, I might wait a day or two. But uh, anyway, hopefully I can double or uh, triple my money on it. Should be pretty cool. All right, I finally got someone interested in this old um, trunk here. It is not the greatest deal but I just need to get rid of it. I have too much stuff sitting around, so I am kind of in liquidation mode. So I was just about to drop the price on this quite a bit. I had it at $75, which I think is a great deal on this. I paid $25 for it. And uh, someone just offered me, a couple minutes ago, they offered me $55. So that'd be a $30 profit. I will take it. And uh, they said they can be here in about half an hour. So hopefully they like it and it's not too small for them and I can sell it. All right, it is Friday now, and uh, a couple things happened. I did sell that trunk I just showed you last night. 
Like I said, I was asking 75, I paid 25 for it. I was hoping to make like 40 or 50 bucks on it. Someone gave me a $55 offer and they caught me at the right time because I'm trying to somewhat liquidate a lot of the furniture I have just to got to get rid of it. It's taking up space. I, I need to, I like buying the cheaper stuff, but some of the buys I've got, I've picked up lately have not been doing very well. So I'm just trying to get rid of them and buy better stuff. So anyway, they offered me 55 and took it. So I made 30 bucks on that. Okay, overnight I had a sale on eBay for this shirt right here. This is a Ralph Lauren Chaps Rugby shirt. Um, it's kind of cool from the 90s, kind of a purpley blue color. The armpits have a different um, cutout there that's in teal. And then has, the, of course, the white collar and the gold inside the white collar. And then it has kind of a denim or, yeah, I think it's denim or, what is that word called? I don't remember, but I, th I think it's denim uh, collar thing here, and then uh, the buttons are even rubber, which is kind of cool. Anyway, I found this at a garage sale last fall. It was only 50 cents, and I thought I hit jackpot. I thought this thing's going to be worth so much money. The guy was standing right there talking to me the whole time, so I couldn't get out my phone. So I just assumed, I was like, oh, that's like a $30 shirt, maybe $40. I thought it was just going to be the best thing ever. And of course, it, I, I never got any offers when I had it that high. I dropped it down, dropped it down, dropped it down. I finally am just getting rid of it now. So I had it all the way down to $7.95 plus shipping. And it finally sold. It even took a while at that price. So it sold for $7.95 plus $6.70 shipping, which is a total of $14.65. And I paid $0.50. Cents, so eh, it was kind of a dud. Okay, also, right before I shot the video, I just sold a, another little uh, vintage toy. Let me grab that real quick, and I'll show you. Okay, so the other sale I had just actually a few minutes ago on eBay is this right here. It's in a box. You're not going to be able to see it, so I have to show a picture. This is a vintage uh, Radio Shack remote control Jeep Renegade, if I remember right. Uh, from the 80s, late 80s, I think, like 88, 89, somewhere around there. Got it at a garage sale. I only paid $3 for it. And I had it listed, I think I dropped the price on. I'm thinking I might have originally had it at like $44.95, something like that. But I had it down to $37.95 plus shipping. And it finally sold. It's been up for a while, maybe a month, month and a half, something like that. And uh, today eBay's having a 15% off, anything over $25. So I'm thinking that's why that one sold. But uh, anyway, I can get it shipped out here real soon. Also, I just had two... Um, two local sales in between video segments here. So uh, those bar stools I bought a while back, uh, I bought six of them for 20 bucks. They were really nasty and grungy. I did a total makeover on them and I will be doing a DOI dork video. I'll have it up soon. I've already shot it and all that, but I, I will put it up at some point showing the makeover on them. Anyway, I did redid all six, painted them white, put uh, new padding and new fabric on the seats. And I'll have to show a picture, but anyway, I listed them for all six for $200, or you could buy four for $150, or you could buy three for, I think it was $100, or you could buy two for $75. So that way it would give people options, because I thought selling six would be hard. Well, two people that really want them bad want all six. I should have held out, but the very first person that contacted me wanted just four of them for $150. I was thinking, perfect, so if I sell the other two for 75, I'll make two, 225, I should do it. So I agreed to, uh, I think I mentioned earlier, to wait on them, to hold it. They ended up being a bad deal. They've backed out twice, or not backed out, but rescheduled twice. And I said it was gonna be two strikes and they're out, you know, but I let them have the third time. They'd come today unannounced, I'm glad I was home. And uh, anyway, they, like I said, it was a lady that's buying them, but she had her daughter who lives in my town come pick them up but they were waiting on their truck and her, uh, it was a whole story and they were kind of mad when we were going back and forth on messaging. So from now on, I am going to just have to be a lot more strict about listings. It's gonna be whoever comes first with money and gets it, buys it, and I'm not gonna be doing any holding unless people pay for it in advance. I just can't do it. It's, I'm spending too much time on it and hassle and thinking about, well, if I make them mad and then maybe I should hold, but then I don't know, I'm not gonna mess with that anymore. Okay. So anyway, they sold, I sold four of them for $150, so now I have to sell two of them and get as much as I can out of it, and they might actually be harder to sell that way, I don't know. Okay, so then also, I don't even have this written down, but I just got back in from helping the guy 
load up the um, dresser and vanity that I bought yesterday. So I bought yesterday, Thursday, at the garage sale that was kind of sketchy. I paid $25 for them. I had it listed for $75. There's actually a lot of interest in them, which I knew that was going to be the like, you know, blowout price. And he bought them, so I made $50 on those. I brought them home. I did wipe them down a little bit, cleaned them up. I think the uh, handles were Bakelite, which was kind of cool. They were a little rough around the edges. They had cigarette burns on the top, and they're going to need some real work. But he said he's going to redo them and uh, use them. So anyway, I made 50 bucks on those. So now i got to get moving because I have 20 minutes to print labels and uh, get these over to the post office. So I'll go ahead and take care of that real quick. Oh, I might as well mention today's Friday. I did go garage selling this morning. And and there was nothing. There was truly nothing at all to pick up today. I passed on a dresser that I probably could have bought. But other than that, there was I did not see anything. There was not a whole lot of sales. It's the weekend before 4th of July. It's like 100 degrees. It just no one is having sales right now. So I will probably go out tomorrow and see if I can find more stuff. But man, today was a total dud. I actually come home early and just started listing more stuff. So, okay, now I need to get these shipped out.